The January transfer window has come and gone. We have made some massive changes to our side. And now it is full steam ahead into crunch time of the season. The Champions League knockout stages are upon us. The hunt for Champions League qualification in the Premier League, the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup final. It is all going on in today's episode. If you guys do want to enjoy today's episode, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below. We're not messing about. I've got my game face on today, boys. Let's get into the press conference. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the press conference here to kick off episode number nine of our Chelsea career mode series. A big thank you as per usual for the comments left on the previous episode. If you want the chance of getting your question answered in episode number 10, make sure you leave a comment down below with the intro PCQ. Eddie Wong says, great players like Thiago Silva, Azpilicueta and Kante, who are slowly aging and getting old. So will you think of replacing them or just stick to using them for their higher overall? It really goes on a case by case basis and a positional basis. So Kante starting every game where he's fit, CDM has been incredible and he's the highest rated out of all of them. He's 89 rated, whilst Azpilicueta and Thiago Silva are both 83. Thiago Silva is deteriorating rapidly. He might even retire after this season in the save. So my thinking is Thiago Silva, I'm probably going to look to upgrade the back line next season. Probably going to get an upgrade on him. Keep him around the club. I'm going to keep all three of these guys around in the club. But I want to upgrade on Thiago Silva next year. Kante will more than likely be staying CDM for quite some time. As Peter Quetta hasn't even been starting for us this season, he's been a rotational player, but he is the club captain and he's been good when he's been called upon. So I, make sure, I want to make sure I keep him around as well. So Thiago Silva, I'm going to keep all these guys around, but Thiago Silva upgrade as Peter Quetta, as Peter Quetta is doing what as Peter Quetta is doing and Kante keep starting him until he deteriorates. FIFA career mode unofficial says, are you going to ever think about changing to a five at the back as against Leicester, you were outplayed on the wing backs? Yeah, I mean, we definitely adapted in that Leicester game and it, so it sorted us out quite nicely. It got us into the Carabao Cup final, but it's really going to have to be like, I want to stick with the 4-5-1 formation, but I'm prepared to go to a five at the back. I'm prepared to go to any formation if it's going to help us against the opposition we're playing against. Leicester were dominating us with the likes of Castagne on the wing-back positions. So I adjusted accordingly, gave some more depth, and it helped stop a lot of their attacks. So five at the back has a time and a place. My default starting 11 that I've fallen in love with is the 4-5-1 attacking formation. But five at the back, three at the back, whatever at the back, we'll use it if we need to. And finally, Beast99Gamer says, if you had to say there has been a best performer all season, who would it be and why? The King and Golo Kante. He has been absolutely phenomenal. Flies under the radar. But there are so many times where whoever opposition is having a great attack, Kante just swoops in, steals the ball, and stops any potential danger. He helps on the counter-attack. He's really been clutch for us and seems to pop up everywhere. I was thinking about this answer. I was like, yeah, Kante, Havertz, Werner. Werner and Havertz have been getting goals and assists galore. But I think as an overall performer, Kante has been insane. Varane's up there as well. A lot of good performances this season from the whole squad. But I'd have to say best performer all season is N'Golo Kante. So it is now time for us to take a look at the season objectives for this Chelsea career mode here in season one. And I, ple I am pleased to announce that we have officially smashed the German general's objective out of the park. I thought this was gonna be a little bit of a, a little bit of too big of a goal. Like I thought maybe it would take us all season to do this, but we're only just past January and we have already completed the German general's objective. 42 goals and assists, Havertz and Werner combined. Absolutely phenomenal. Christian Pulisic has gone up plus three overall, so he's on track to hit the Captain America objective. Whilst, unfortunately, that 3-2 loss to Arsenal last episode saw the London is Blue challenge failed. And we're going to have a subsequent forfeit, which we're going to talk about right now. So, in the last episode, the last game, we unfortunately failed our London is Blue objective by losing 3-2 to Arsenal. So I asked you guys, what forfeit should we do? And through a culmination, I read through a lot of the comments and I've got a few different ideas, put them together. And we've got a pretty cooked idea because 
Today's episode, we have Man City in our next game, which is a, like, oh, we'll take a little look here at the Premier League table. This is a big game for us. We currently sit fifth in the Premier League with 13 games to go. Man City are nine points ahead of us. We need to qualify for Champions League football, but the forfeit. So since the January transfer window is done and dusted, we don't want to do a forfeit around a player departure. So what I will be doing in the next game against Man City, it's just our bad luck that it is Man City. We will be flipping around two players. Cohen Castiles will be playing striker and Timo Werner will be playing goalkeeper against Man City. This could get ugly or it could be incredible. But one thing is for certain, it is going to make our life that much more difficult. Look how much this affects them. Castile's playing striker. I should probably change the formation as well so that Castile's is now only striker option. But Castile's goes down 49 overall and Timo Werner is a 20 rated goalkeeper. Lord have mercy. So here we go. It's my fault that I'm in this situation. We are taking on Man City at home. Let's see if we can pull off a miracle. I was really hoping when I came up with this concept that we were playing like, I don't know, like Watford or Norwich or Brentford or somebody down the bottom of the table in this next game. But it only had to be one of the toughest sides in the whole damn game. I think in the last episode's press conference, somebody asked who's our biggest threat in the Premier League. And I said, Manchester City. Of course we're playing them, of course. I wanna see the walkout here. Timo Werner, there he is. He got a little glimpse there. Hopefully he plays like Petr Cech. He's not going to have an easy go of it either. Aguero starting striker here for Man City. And of course, a little subsection of this game. Hakimi, we signed him in the transfer deadline day. Ziyech going the other way. He's making his debut here for Chelsea. So, strange scenario. He probably wonders what sort of circus he's walked into. God, that looks incredible. Timo Werner with the goalkeeper jersey. And are we going to see Castiles? There he is at the back, wearing the number one as a striker as well. So here we go, here is our starting 11. Timo Werner in between the sticks, rocking with a 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Might even change it to a five at the back to make sure that we have as little pressure as possible on Timo Werner. Kai Havertz playing attack in midfield with Colin Castiles and Tammy Abraham up top together. I love this game. Taking a look though at the Man City side, and they are not stopping at all. They've signed Steven Savage here from Atletico Madrid. Any new signings to the side? Silva, Rodri, they got Mares, Aguero, Raheem Sterling, so, oh Lord, this could go, this could go multiple ways, really. They're on the attack here, Manchester City. Kevin De Bruyne up against Thiago Silva. Good tackle there from Silva. Come on, can we get something on the counter? Castiles, God, he feels so bad. We keep moving though, it's actually worked out because Abraham going through here to Kai Havertz. Surely not. Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz. Kai! Oh my god. Oh, Castile's just shoulders him off the ball. Beautiful stuff. Hakimi going here to Kai Havertz. Gonna go through. Castile's! Oh my god, Castile's almost scored. Castile's almost scored a goal. Oh my god. That was great. Look at the strength. This dude is so strong. We just didn't... It, why do we fire that one straight at Edison? Got the corner here. Where's Rafael? Why is Rafael Varane so far back? That's annoying. Honestly, oh, I'm tempted to just put this one straight at Castile's on the edge of the box and let him have a go. But we're going to swing it in here. Kai Havertz into Tammy Abraham. Second bite at the cherry. Get your head on it. it comes out to Castile's. Castile's. Long shot. Oh, my God. He's actually not that bad with his shooting. Man City on the attack. Aguero, we can't allow him to get any long shots off, so I'm trying to just really defend them here. Aguero, going back there to Rodri. Rodri going through there! And De Bruyne, that is an absolute stinker of a shot. Thank God it was wide. How far wide did that go? What is, what is that? That's, that's, what? Aguero is on the attack here for Man City, going to Kevin De Bruyne. No long shot. No long shot. No shot. No shot. Defend. Yes, good stuff, Thiago. Castiles could get an assist to his name as he plays it down here to Hakimi. His debut match. He goes across and Kai Havertz is going to give us the advantage. We're playing a weak-ass squad with Castiles up top. And Castiles is the man that unlocks Hakimi. And we have... A shock lead here at Stamford Bridge. Maybe I should be playing Castile's up top more often. 
Aguero going here to Bernardo Silva. They're on the counter. They go out wide to Mares. I'm just trying to defend here using Chilwell. Don't want to overcommit. Can I change to Pulisic? It won't let me. But Jao Concelo on the attack. Just trying to jockey. Good stuff, Thiago Silva. It's a foul as well. But we're going to play a counter attack. Castiles. Good ball out there to Pulisic. Come on, lads. Come on. Make it two. Pulisic. It's 2-0. Come on, Chelsea. Why do we always do so good against Manchester City? We defend so tight there. Castiles again. A great ball to Pulisic, who's so far ahead of his Jao Concelo because of how far he pushed up from that attack. And just like that, we go bang, bang, and find ourselves 2-0 up at home against Manchester City. We are killing them this year. Sterling on the attack. We're defending. They go back there to Benjamin Mendy. Just trying to limit any option. Trying to limit any goal scoring opportunities they can get. It's good that Hakimi's playing right mid because he technically can play right back as well. So that's a little bit of defensive reassurance in that position all season long. But they continue on the attack. Kevin De Bruyne looking for somebody. Kevin De Bruyne going there to Bernardo Silva. Just clear it. Oh, don't clear it into your man. Come on, counter attack again. Pulisic. Oh, still on. Still on, definitely. Get in there. Pulisic already has a goal. Get this one over the top. Castiles. Castiles. Castiles scored. Are you kidding me? Cohen Castiles scores a goal. Oh my god. The goalkeeper has scored a goal on the counter attack. We soak up the pressure. And we kill teams on the counter-attack. Cohen Castiles, starting at striker, has scored a goal. And it's a bloody controlled goal as well. Just trying to defend here, lads. They're going to De Bruyne. Can't allow him to get any way back into this one. I want to keep Timo Werner's hands clean in this one. Good tackle there, Thiago Silva. Man, we are just stepping up defensively today. Please... Please tell me we can get fourth goal in here. Pulisic has had an incredible game. We see Hakimi back post. We're going to go across to Hakimi. Who's going to score on debut? We have dominated Manchester City for the second time this year. I need to show you guys right now. Because I can already tell the comments are going to be like, stop playing on sliders. This is too easy. Everything on the CPU is at 50. Everything on the user is at 50. This is just Incredible. You love to see it. Oh my god. How do we go from not being able to beat Arsenal last game to being 4 0 up with Verna and Castiles at other ends of the park this game? Maybe I need to put it up to our uh, ultimate, the difficult. We're on the attack here for Man City. Just holding off a little bit. Bernardo Silva over the top there to Ferran Torres. They go across the face of goal nicely cleared away. Come on. We've been absolutely all over Man City on the counter attack. Oh, oh, get there, Kai, please make it five, please make it five, go across to Hakimi, Hakimi gets the brace, we're 5-0 up, this is incredible, the thing about this half has been Man City have had a lot of possession, but they've done nothing with it, and we have been incredible on the counter attack, the counter attacks of this team is something else, and Hakimi Feels like a player that I'm so happy I've signed. He gets a brace on debut. This is the perfect game. Come on, I want to keep a clean sheet. If we keep a clean sheet against Man City using Timo Werner, that's a near miracle. Just clear it, Kante. Clear it. Yes, Hakimi, we're actually going to do it. Oh, my. I have no words. I have no words. What is it with us? And being incredible against Manchester City. The first time we versed them, I think it was 4 or 5 nil. 5 nil again here at home. There's just something about the way that they play that we exploit so much. Cohen Castile's playing striker scores a goal. Timo Werner, yeah, he didn't have to make a save. But he kept a clean sheet. I don't know what the hell to say about that game. How is the crowd not more happy? Alright, things are going to the next level. Not only are we bumping it up from legendary to ultimate for this game, but it is a massive game as it is the Champions League round of 16 first leg against Atletico Madrid. This is not an easy opponent. This is a team that you would consider 
a final team. So if we can get past Atletico Madrid on ultimate as well, that's going to be a huge confidence booster. Massive. Oh, they got Bakayo Saka. Radio. Bakayo Saka. He killed us when we versed Arsenal last time, so he's just following us around. So here we go. Here's a look at our starting 11 for today's game. Rolling with a full strength starting 11 on the park. And yes, Timo Werner. Back at striker, Cohen Castile's back at goalkeeper. Despite his goal, his prolific goal scoring, you could say, one goal in one game, we know where he's better suited. And now for a look at Simeone's Atletico Madrid side. This is going to be an insane challenge. Luis Suarez, Jan Oblak, they've brought in Presnel Kempembe. They've just got a tough, tough footy team here. Saka playing midfield, which is surprising. Central midfield, so fair enough there. Luis Suarez on the attack, he's going to Koke. Trying to defend. Good tackle, Thiago Silva. Hakimi over the top. Beautiful ball there to Kante. Come on, this is where we do our best work on the counter. Kante, I see Pulisic. Please be on side. Havertz, I didn't want to go to him, but we're going to have the shot, and it's going to be Mason Mount, not Kai Havertz. That is the dream start here. Hits it brilliantly on the half volley. Kante dinks it over the top. I thought we might have taken it a little bit too wide. That is... A world-class finish from Mason Mount across the body past Jan Oblak. That is exactly the start the doctor ordered. We are 1-0 up here against Atletico Madrid. Trippier passing it around. They play it around nicely intercepted. Just clear it for on. <gasps> oh my god. I see you, Hikimi. Please be on side. I think he's offside. No, he's on side. Good. I see you at the back post. Oh, they've covered that nicely, to be fair. Hakimi still going to get the second bite of the cherry as he goes to Kante. Kante. Go on. Mason Mount for a brace. Save. Get the follow-up. Kai Havertz blocked. Get there before him. Oh, my God. We are getting the FIFA gods on our side. Yano Black, I thought, was going to cover that one for all money. But Kai Havertz, those extra few inches of height have allowed him to get his boot down to it first. And we score a scrappy-ass goal. I haven't scored a goal like that in FIFA, maybe ever. It falls out there. A great block there. But then Jan Oblak just can't... Why is he just jumping on that ball? I mean, I'll take it. But bloody hell. Flick it. Nice. Go on. Stroke of half-time. If we can get another goal, that would be incredible. Atletico Madrid have had a lot of possession, but they've done nothing with it here. Timo Werner just holding it up. Laying it through there to Mason Mounts. Oh, that is a great save from Jan Oblak. Third corner here. Rafael Varane, get your noggin onto this one, please. Punched away. Let's just get it in again, though. Kai Havertz in. Rafael Varane on the volley, and that is taking a great deflection. And we're going to get a fourth corner. Come on. The formation's just killing Atletico Madrid. Look at this space. Timo Werner. Timo Werner, that's three. We are all over Atletico Madrid. This team is just unfairly good, man. Even when we move it up to ultimate, we are just absolutely inspired on the counter-attack. I don't know what it is with me and counter-attacking. I'm a terrible build-up play player on FIFA, but on the counter-attack, I feel unstoppable. And we have got a massive lead now. Now it's just about keeping a clean sheet and not giving them any away goals to give them momentum for the second leg. I did not think I would have this luxury, but we're going to make a double substitution here. It's going to be that man, Timo Werner, got a goal to his name, and Hakimi both being substituted here. We're going to game against West Ham in a few days' time, and we're actually in a comfortable position where I can afford to sub them off and get them game time and get them rest. Hopefully we don't concede here, though. Good save, Castiles. Just trying to defend here. Good block from Rafael Varane. Come on, counter-attack, please. You already know the rules, baby. Gonna go out wide. To Mason Mount. Good stuff. Mount. Holding it through. Pulisic. Havertz. <gasps> Please. Oh my god. It's come out again though. Mason Mount. Oh my god. We're having... We're toying with them at this point. Defend. Torreira. Going in behind. Oh yes. Well predicted block. I thought I stuffed up and might have given them a penalty opportunity. But that block was beautiful. Feed it. Go on. He hits her in, in front of Lodi. They've caught up to him, but we're going to go back here. Have it. A fourth goal would be the cherry on top. Pulisic. Going here. Chilwell. In. Please. 
Abraham! Oh my god. Musa Dembele on the attack here for Atletico Madrid. Fresh off the bench for them. Can't let a former Fulham and Celtic man get anything. Lamar, yes, good defense. Still on though. Come on, no away goal. We've done so well up to this point. Two minutes to play. No away goal. I'm dropping Mason Mount back. Yeah, put him in the corner. Trippier. Yeah, send him back to halfway. This is so uninspired. That is so uninspired. You're a bunch of fucking losers, Atletico Madrid. I hate how fucking boring this game can be at times. But we've absolutely dominated Atletico Madrid there. They should hang their heads in shame. The AI in this game is absolutely ridiculously boring. I've lost 3-0. I want more of a challenge. I want more of a challenge, man. That's just crap. So the top four race is incredibly tight right now. We currently occupy fourth. Six points behind Man City. But Spurs, West Ham, Arsenal all breathing down our necks. And that's why this next game against West Ham is so damn important. Normally, I would look to simulate this game. But given the severity of it and the high stakes on offer, we're going to be taking on West Ham away at the London Olympic Stadium. Here we go, lads. Declan Rice, a man that's linked with Chelsea in real life and potentially in this save. But today, we need to contain him. Today, we've been on great form. Like... On paper, we beat Atletico Madrid with absolute ease. We dominated Manchester City. We need the same results today. I forgot about the fucking bubbles. Not the bubbles! So here we go. Here's a look at David Moyes' West Ham side. Lucas Fabianski in between the sticks. They've signed a lot of talent in this save, however. Big midfield, two second rice. That is a formidable back line or defensive midfield line. Lingard, Bore. We're going to have to be focused in this game. But now for a look at our side. Luckily, I was a little bit cautious after that Atletico Madrid game. I thought maybe we won't have enough time to roll with a full strength starting 11. Only change is Antonio Rudiger is starting ahead of Thiago Silva. But besides that, it is the same old brilliant 4-5-1 formation. I just hate those bubbles, man. Nicely won there from Rafael Varane. Pulisic. Timo. Come on, I see you out wide, Hakimi. That's a beautiful ball from Timo Werner to Hakimi. Made a great start to life at Chelsea. Come on, let's get ourselves an early goal. It's going to go out of here. It's going to be Pulisic blasting it just over. Got to defend now, lads. Bowen. Going there to Bore. Going back to Bowen. Just trying to defend. Is he offside? No, he's not. No shot. Oh, fuck! <sighs> I knew that I was taking a risk there. But I thought I had the window of opportunity. I thought I had the window to make that tackle, make that challenge. I saw him take just too heavy of a touch and I was like, surely I can get this ball away. It's a soft pen, but it is a pen nonetheless. It's Bore. He's going to go to the right-hand side. He's going to go to the right-hand side and it's saved from Castiles. Come on, baby. Come on. I see you, Hakimi. Great ball from Havertz and a bit of open air for Hakimi. Had a great start to life at Chelsea so far. Hakimi, Hakimi, Hakimi! This guy's a certified baller! Oh, we've definitely made the right choice by signing Hakimi to the club. That is a brilliant goal, and we hit the lead here at the London Olympic Stadium. Ashraf Hakimi, what a start he's had to life at Chelsea. Look at this, it just stops, sends the defender, and tucks it bottom left corner. That's brilliant. Come on. Werner. Playing that one there. Hakimi. Let's just have another long shot with him. Hakimi! Oh my god. I am just going to pass the ball around the back line until these stupid bubbles disappear. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Now feed it. Come on. Need some support in the middle though. Pulisic has to hold it up and go! Oh my god, we needed to finish that one, Mason Mount. Come on. Havertz. Flicking it. Hakimi! Oh my god, we've got to finish these opportunities. Corner for West Ham. Need to clear this one. What a save from Castiles. Just clear it. What a save from Castiles on Declan Rice. Got to defend here, lads. Got to get in front of it. And they've banged it in off the post. I thought we defended well enough to stop that one. Bore has somehow beaten Rafael Varane and beaten Cohen Castiles at the near post there. And just like that, West Ham have equalised. That's the reason why we need to be so much more clinical. We had two great opportunities with Mason Mount and Hakimi. We couldn't make the most of it. 
and they've somehow got that one in there. That is a ridiculous goal. All right, we are going to make a substitution here, lads, for the final moments of this game, the final 15 minutes or so as West Ham were offside. We are going to bring off Mason Mount and are subbing on Mohamed Ihitarin. Hopefully, Mohamed can be the difference maker. He was good with his little cameo against Atletico Madrid. Hoping for the same here. Got to defend. There's so much flooding of the left-hand side there by West Ham. They've defused it right now, but they still have possession. Susek playing that one in behind there. No shot. Good tackle, Varane. Timo. Timo Werner coming through here. This is a big moment. Timo Werner, I see you, Pulisic. That's a greatly weighted ball. Christian Pulisic, save. Oh my God, we almost got the follow-up, but it's out for a corner. We've got the corner here, lads. Rafael Varane, he's done it before this season. Can he do it again? It's going to be Chilwell. Oh my God. Win that, Kante. Yes, brother. Big win from Kante. We might have one last bite at the cherry here. Timo Werner, I see Pulisic again. That's a big block. Still on, though. Chill, well, we've got a minute and a half here. Come on, lads. Kante. Go in there to Kai Havertz. Come on. Pulisic. Going to Mohamed. Mohamed. Laying that one back. Come on. Going through. Timo Werner. Overlapping run. Kante. 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 And go, Kante. We're in the captain's arm, man. Is going to score. In the 94th minute. And that is surely going to see us get all three points. Come on. I was so hesitant there to even pull the trigger. Because Kante's shooting stats aren't the greatest. I was looking for a better option. But I thought maybe we could find the back of the net. Or maybe more likely we'd be able to find a rebound. But Kante has absolutely banged that one. And that is going to be three massive points in the European title race. Or the European qualification race and Golo Kante the nicest man in football is the hero absolutely buzzing with that one lads three points on the board we're further ahead now in the top four race and that's a huge momentum booster headed in to our Carabao Cup final versus Man City fair credit though to West Ham they put up a better fight than Manchester City and Atletico Madrid